Hello and welcome back to Maggie's Flytech. Today with a special video, I will do an unboxing video today of my new Prusa printer. I know there are already many videos of this out there on YouTube, but I think I want to invite you and join me on my way here into this new exciting 3D printing step on my channel. First of all, this printer isn't given to me by the manufacturer. I have bought this myself on the last Black Friday sale. And what came with this was the printer itself, an additional spool of filament and an additional satin coated print bed, which hasn't arrived um, yet. And it was a free delivery. So I thought this was a time to buy my first Prusa printer. But now, don't waste any more time. I will do uh, the unboxing together with my daughter today. And let's see what we've got here. There it is, the spool of filament. And I think we can already see the color. Prusa orange. I think, is there anything that isn't named after Joseph Prusa? There we have it. Now let's see what we've got here in the big box. So, packaging material and congratulations on getting the brand new original Prusa printer. Thank you. Here we have the assembly instruction and I have already built up two printers and I can tell you just by the first look this is the most detailed uh, instruction that I have ever seen and I think none of the printer suppliers will give you a full book as an assembly instruction. So what have we there? The 3D printing handbook about 3D printing. Okay. You won't find all the uh, screws here lying uh, in this one box here. It's packed together to um, logical units, I would say. So what have we there first? Okay. This is the Y-axis, the aluminum frame and the front and rear plate, what you will need. There were also numbers on these boxes, so you know which you have to build up first. Here. This is something that uh, is special for Prusa. They make uh, tests of every component of the printer, the USB, the firmware, the communication, the print bed and so on. And they give you the report here with this package. Yeah, there, I think, yeah, this is the uh, power supply of the printer. The cable, more packaging material, oh, heavy. So what have we here? This is the the fasteners and ELE. Oh, many screws and plugs, I think. Oh, another package. All the plastic parts that we'll need. And, and this is something special here. Uh, you know the Prusa printer um, always comes with this uh, black and mostly orange design. And I think this orange design is a little bit too fancy for me. And so I have ordered all the parts in black. You can order these on the website. Let's put this here. And another package here. Another spool of PLA, silver PLA, which, which comes uh, with a printer. The heavy bit, what is this here? The frame and the heat bed set. And there we have the motor kit. I have seen this, um, the motors come with a spindle already connected. I think I will make a detailed um, videos of every part 
after this um, unboxing video. And here in all the steps uh, there will be shafts that have to be used. I think there are the metal shafts in here. Let's have a look. Yes, these are uh, the shafts and some uh, cable shrinks, um, I think, which will be used later. And some sweets! Daddy. Okay, take them. <laughs> Let's come now to the items in detail. Not every single screw, but what is in the packages. So here we have the uh, power supply unit. Here, here it is with a separate uh, power switch here. Here and all the components that you need. The filaments that came with this package are in this here, the orange PETG and a spool of silver PLA. In this tube we have some tubing for the cables here and all the metal shafts that we need uh, for uh, the rails. This is the uh, Y-axis package. And in here we have the metal front plate and underneath the rear plate and underneath we have the different profiles here for the front and the back or in the bottom of the frame. Here is the motor kit and when we have a look inside then we can see the motors, let's get out one of these, are already connected to uh, the lead screw here and the cables are on the motor here. And there are motors without lead screws for other places of the printer. I have said this before, I have ordered all the printed components in black color. And here in this box they are, for example, the y-axis, the z-axis, and so on. Some of the uh, components are always black. I think here the uh, holder, I think for the power supply, but especially here, the front plate of the printer I wanted to have in black. Here. And so there are all the printed components. And here we come to the package with all the fasteners and other components that you need for the printer. And for not getting lost with all these screws inside here, they sent you a cheat sheet of all screws in original sizes here so um, that you can compare the screw when you find a single screw uh, to the size uh, of the screw that you need. Let's have a look in there. Here, and I already see here uh, some cleaning tools here. The bearings here. They are looking uh, full of oil. Don't forget, this isn't an oil um, that you will need um, for uh, using it. You will have to clean it um, before and then uh, lubricating it. Here, some screws. What I really like is that everything is uh, labeled again and um, labeled with a step where you need them. More screws and timing belts. Cables for the power supply and the heat pad here. Oh, and oh, cool. this is something I thought about printing it. You uh, get a small uh, lubricating uh, tube here, and this is an adapter that has holes all around here, and you can slide into um, the um, 
linear uh, bearing and lubricating it from the inside where uh, the lubrication will be needed. Some cable fasteners, a glue stick cable, yeah. some tools. I think I won't have any problems to find uh, tools in my shop here, but they give them your little tube plastic or what is this? I don't know. We will see. Here we have the LCD screen. Yeah, there it is. The screen for the front of the printer. And an ELE box here. Ah, yes, it is. Um, yeah, this is the uh, driver board, I think. And the extruder box yeah, with all the components that you need to build up the extruder. Well, this will be an adventure. So, this is what you have to expect when you buy this printer at a kit version. I think it will take me a day, even longer when I have to film all these steps to build this up. And if you want to join me on this way to the finished printer, then look out for the video where I will build up the Prusa from the ground. I will have to finish some of the components of my Boeing 737 overhead first, but then the journey will begin. And I will see you next time on the flight deck.